<laughs> Hello everyone, it's Autumn and Phil here, back for Cape Talk episode 20. And we're going to round up the year, tell you our favorite comic book shows, movies, favorite characters, favorite moments, biggest disappointments. Yes, and you know, a little tease of 2018 mm -hmm. and what we're looking forward to yep. in the next year. So, I mean, 2017 was... All intents and purposes, not a great year, but for comic book stuff and yeah. movies and television, it was actually a really solid year. A lot of different things, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we could just... I agree with you. Yeah, a lot of... We, we had to sit and think on this list. It's like, what are we forgetting? Like, yeah, because I'm like, even when we're going down mm -hmm. the list of what we have yeah. on a paper, I feel like we're going to be like, oh, but what about this? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just remember this. So prepare for that, because I feel like that's going to happen a lot and before we get going i do want to specify it is superhero comic book yeah stuff yeah uh so walking dead we love you but um we're gonna try and narrow it down to have a, a smaller conversation yeah, this we is be cape talk yeah. for a reason we're talking about capes and tights and yeah. things like that um but yeah so so many different shows based on comic books that mm -hmm. you might not even realize yeah. so um if we went through every comic book you know, related property. It's gonna be a long time. <laughs> it will take us a long time. We have two hour podcast. Yeah. I don't think anyone wants to hear us talk for that long. So we're I mean, not important yeah. enough yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. One day. <laughs> one day. One day you guys want to hear us. So yeah. Um shit. Okay. So best TV show. Um, oh, yeah. okay. So let's just run down. Uh, we'll run down the list. Run the list that we have here. Um, we just, okay, uh, we have Agents, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mm -hmm. uh, Defenders, we have Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Punisher, The Gifted, The Runaways, Gotham, Supergirl, Riverdale. Why you put Riverdale? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Riverdale, cross it out. <laughs> After we just said. I know, I know. <laughs> that might have been, like, before our conversation. <laughs> I, I mean, you just added at the last second then, too, because I, I don't remember that being there. <laughs> okay. We love you, Riverdale. All right. But you don't, you're not on our list. Um, so, Are yeah. You, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, I mean, this is tough because 2017 technically included the latter half of some of these seasons. Yes. Um, so we're going to do the best we can, you know, uh, if you don't agree with us, that's fine. Shoot us a comment. We're yeah. not, you know what I mean? We obviously I mean, forget things. We're not going to be able to cover everything. Yeah, but. these are our opinions, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to agree with us. Um, we're not going to agree with each other. So yeah. <laughs> that's what's going to happen here a lot. So, I mean, from this list, it doesn't have to be your top, but is there one that's sticking out to you right now that's in your mind? Like, um, I love The Gifted. Mm -hmm. Like, I went in thinking it was going to be really bad. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it didn't look anything impressive. It didn't look impressive at all. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love the <laughs> X-Men, and I just didn't think it was going to be anything good. Like, yeah. we've had X-Men-type shows before, and it's just like they never really worked out because they don't have the, the budget or whatever. And especially this one that doesn't really have, like, recognizable names. Mm -hmm. It's like, how can this really succeed? Right. But I think it really – it's one of my favorite new shows, definitely. Um, if you had a category for new shows, that might have been yeah. one of them. Um, but that's definitely it's not my it's not my best TV show of 2017. But that's the one that sticks out for me. Interesting. Um, it's it's a tough one for me because okay. it, I didn't necessarily fall in love with each character or a certain element of the show. But what I do appreciate is like the vision and the direction of like the storytelling itself and like the issues that they're exploring. We're talking about gifted. Yeah, oh, okay, I don't okay. necessarily like the show that much but I just like I like what these writers are like sitting in the writers room probably discussing about the main themes and and the values each character has and you know how they're different uh, politically from the next you know yeah. what I mean so I don't know if it's necessarily I would say it's the best TV show but I will say it's a, it's probably the most thoughtful um, it's great that you brought that up because I feel like they have they know exactly what the ending is. Yeah. And they have, like, if they only go one season, they know how, go, how right. it's going to end. Yeah. If they go two seasons, they know how exactly mm -hmm. how it's going to end. Yeah. I feel like if it goes further than that, then we might have problems. Because yeah. we've talked about it off camera a lot. Like, where do you go from after the yeah. story? You know, you can't be... You can't be doing the story for like five seasons. It's a problem with it. the X Men universe in general yeah. because there's just never any resolution, which which defines the universe. But like no one's really found a way to be like make it into something 
bigger or better or better for the characters, you yeah. know? I mean, the, the only way they could do it is just bring in, like, other mutants, but mm -hmm. the way they've been set this world up is, like, they're almost all gone, and, yeah. you know, it's, it's just a weird dynamic where, like, oh, the Hellfire Club is here, or Magneto's gonna show up once, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it's like, no, this is, like, you're fighting regular people, you're fighting the government. Right. You can only do that for so long. Yeah. So I don't know. Unfortunately, I think I can knock two shows off my list. Okay. Um, the Flash and Arrow. Okay. I, I I hate to do it because I think the Flash I don't mind because it just really wasn't that strong last Especially season. Especially the last for me. season for sure. Yeah. Um, Arrow. I think we've seen the most phenomenal acting. The series with Josh Aguirre's character, phenomenal acting, phenomenal villain development. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just don't think it whole. I don't think it's. I think it's. It's, it's just, just. It's just like par for the course. Like, yeah. It didn't, like, stand out. Mm -hmm. That's what you're trying to say? Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was great for Arrow, mm -hmm. you know, for the five seasons that we've now yeah, seen. Yeah, but compared to everything else that's been mm -hmm. released, you're like, uh, all right. Right. You're not necessarily attracting new viewers anymore. True. Yeah. It's like if you have your core and, like, you're mm -hmm. trying to keep them. Right. Like, I don't know if you're going to grab any more people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean... How do you feel about those two? It, yeah, I think you hit it on the nose. Mm -hmm. Like, The Flash, especially last season, wasn't, you know, anything to write home about. Mm -hmm. um, I love how this season has come out so far with the new characters and everything, so um, it's on the right track. I think we can we add see. Supergirl to that generalization as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, you watch it way more than I do, yeah. so you, you would know. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy these... I enjoy the characters, um... I love Super Supergirl's the best part of that show. I yeah, mean, like the actual Leah yeah, is the like, best part of that show. And she that's, is Supergirl. That's, that's rare, about. honestly. Yeah. Um. So I I applaud Melissa Benoist's performance because she's great. Um. But I do want to. I don't want to include Legends of Tomorrow in that category because I do if there believe there, if there was an honorable mention on our list, it would be Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. It's just managed to do something different, uh, especially for the CW DC TV universe. It's just different. It just tries to be bigger. Mm hmm. And bigger, which is like we appreciate for sure. Yeah. Um, Doesn't take itself too seriously. No, it took some lumps in the beginning. The season one wasn't. Yeah, the best. it wasn't. The, it was like yeah. we, we 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 were really hyped about it, mm -hmm. but then the execution wasn't the greatest. Right. Um, but they found their legs. They found their tone and their voice. Really, yeah. So I'd say it's probably the most enjoyable to watch. Just sit back and enjoy, kind of like we, I did in the early seasons of Arrow and The Flash, where the stakes weren't that high, and you just kind of just enjoyed the ride. But mm -hmm. now there's all these crazy fans and shippers, and it's kind of creating this tension in the show that maybe wouldn't be there if if the inter if the online community wasn't as strong. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. So. Um, what about the Netflix shows? There's only there were only two no three there were three Iron Fist Defenders and Punisher and Punisher none of those I think make my top okay yeah but they were like solid for what they were Iron Fist obviously I would say well out of those three I would have to say the Punisher was my favorite out of those three I finally started it did you start it I started what it. what are your first thoughts I like it more than I thought I was gonna yeah. like it because mm -hmm. you were telling me I don't think you're gonna like it <laughs> so I'm like so I guess my expectations were pretty low yeah. mm -hmm. but I'm like I like I like the mystery mm -hmm. you know behind it and how they wrangling all these people together. Mm -hmm. So uh, I look forward to it, like how it's going to I think out. John Bernthal is just really great. Yeah, he's really good. He's just like, really good. Like the PTSD good. stuff is just like, maybe he's a little heavy handed a little bit maybe. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess it's a good representation mm -hmm. of what it is. Yeah. And how people deal with it, how different people deal with it. Right. That's what I th what stood yeah. out to me is they're showing different ways people yeah. are experiencing it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just... I love, like, one of my favorite things to do is, like, soak in my own misery. Okay. You know you know what I mean? You gotta, you, like, you know, you try not to do it too often, but sometimes you just catch yourself just feeling bad for yourself. Okay. And just kind of, like, you know, and then and then you will finally work up the courage to, like, do something about it. And that's what I like about this show is because, sure, it explores PTSD. This guy has such a traumatic experience, mm -hmm. but everyone has felt one way or the other, like, deep in their own hole, and no one's looking out for them, and they have to do something all by themselves and you overcome this kind of uh, misery in your mind, this depression. And that's what I like about it. It's because the series isn't afraid to be like this guy who's just had this bad experience. You know what I mean? Like that's, yeah. that's the truth of the series. And I feel like not a lot of shows follow through with that, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Cause it's true to, to the character. Too. Yeah. That's what it is. Like, Obviously, like, the character's been around for so long in the comics that it's like, okay, he kind of got past that, but right. not really at the same right. time. So it's really interesting, because, like, this is, like, the early 
stages still. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I don't know if they, like, specifically mention how long it's been, but it's been a while yeah. since his appearance in Daredevil. So, right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still fresh. Yeah. Clearly from the show. It's like well, it's like Daredevil, fresh. he has the same tendencies as the Punisher. He'll wallow around and sad, sad, mm-hmm. sad face. But Daredevil is always like, okay, well, will he, won't he break out of that? The Punisher's like, it's clear he's never going to break out of that. Yeah, and he's just like, I'm going to cope with it right. my own way. Mm-hmm. So I, I do like that take on that, this kind of the, you know, vigilante narrative mm-hmm. where this guy is just kind of lost in himself. Uh, so I, I liked that about it. Um, but... You know, maybe it's the timing of, you know, the tragedy in uh, Las Vegas when it came out. It kind of, I don't know. It, I just, it didn't feel the same. You know, watching the show, it still felt off. Uh, That's interesting. So but What do you mean by off, though? It just felt, it just, I don't want to say in bad taste, because I think that all things considered, like, the show really did respectfully portray PhD and gun violence. Um, It definitely showed, like, okay, personal responsibility is, like, a large part of the gun control issue. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, But at the same time, there was just an eerie feeling watching the series. It's just, you just got this really eerie... I mean, I think that was the whole point, though, too. Yeah. Just, like, this is not a fun character. Yeah. This is not a fun character to be Mm -hmm. watching or reading about or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's it's violent, it's dark, it's sad. Do you think that's why it's not going to make a lot of best lists? Just because it's so sad? And, like, not really that enjoyable to watch? Like, it's not really an enjoyable watch, per se. Like, Yeah, yeah. Um, that was definitely on purpose, though. Mm-hmm. It has to be for, for that, for the material. Oh, of course, you know. For that material, it had to be on purpose. They weren't doing that, and, so, yeah. And then maybe that's why it's not on people's best of list, but I don't know. It could be plenty of reasons, but yeah. I, that probably it's probably, like, too... Like, it's probably not, pol- I don't want to say polarizing, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. That's and just what it yeah. is. The, the Defenders was kind of a swing and a miss. Yeah, I mean, we could get that to that in another category, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, what was your best TV show? Let's just get right I, into it. Oh, I... I think it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, you know? I think it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I We're think it's S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't... I, I agree. I'm just going to circle that. Do it, yeah. <laughs> I agree. But The Runways is a very close second. Okay. And the only reason I'm not saying it is because the finale yet. hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., from the end of last season mm-hmm. to how this season has started, um, I even think the last episode this past Friday... Was probably the best of the season, personally. Wait, really? I like that one a lot. You didn't like it at all? It wasn't at all? the best of the season so really? far, but I thought I enjoyed it was it great. A lot. I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. But why? I don't know. It just felt like so. Maybe because they weren't in space in the future mm-hmm. or whatever, and it kind of went back down to the roots. Yeah. And like. It did. It really you know did I mean? feel like an old it episode. It felt like an old episode. It felt I was, like an I was old like, episode. oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah. Like, kind of away from the crazy crap mm-hmm. that's going on. It was like, oh, it was like a nice breather, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, man, I need this break. I like that guy, the tall, bald guy. He's a good character. Oh, the guy, who, I forgot his... Yeah. Yeah. I forgot his name. Enoch or whatever? Yeah. Or something like that. But anyway, like, the end of last season, like, we said last season was, like, legit really good. Yeah. With the whole Ghost Rider and Ada and and the framework, and they went to places, mm-hmm. even though it would, like, drag in, like, the framework a bit, but, like... The ghost, um, the ghost writer storyline in the beginning was, was really good. Great, yeah. And that kind of tied into the end of it, and everything was just really good. Like the move, the time slots, like become more PG thirteen, I guess. Yeah. And it was it really worked for the season, and like everyone got time to shine. It was so good. And then yeah. this season, especially, is going to be like they just keep upping it, and yeah. I wonder how they're going to keep topping it. Mm-hmm. themselves I should say. they will though I'm, I'm confident and that's why it's my top show i think yeah but the runaways is really really good too it's just fresh um there's nothing else really to say about it i yeah. don't know there's nothing special that they i don't want to you know i don't want to get into spoilers but it's still like not necessarily a superhero show yet yeah, almost. yeah. that's the least spoilerly way i can put it yeah like it, they're superhero yeah. kids but like Yet they're not yeah. really yet, you yeah. know. I you know, so it's in it's, it's interesting. I mean, they're definitely on that path of vigilantism, but 
Um, I think Shield topped it. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but... Not Runaways? Wait, Inhumans isn't your top? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We'll get to that later. <laughs> but, yeah, so I think that's it for that category, right? Yeah, best TV show, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. You guys have done a great job. Keep keep it up. Because mm-hmm. that's, we, 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 there's not a, a bad episode, I feel. Yeah. Like, I enjoy every, every mm-hmm. and no, every episode. There yeah. you go. Um, Should we do biggest disappointment now? Because you've already just kind of talked about I guess. TV shows. Um, also, this has been recorded, like, on the 27th of December. So, if anything happens while this is going up, you know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, if, if this is already up and, like, something happened, but, like, oh, how can you say it? Oh, yeah, yet? yeah. It's like, oh, because this was recorded mm-hmm. whenever. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we can go into Biggest Disappointment, um, since we're kind of alluding to it a bit. Um, these are necessarily not the worst shows, but, like, our expectations were not met, pretty mm-hmm. much. So we kind of had Inhumans, Defenders, and Iron Fist. Those are the three, yeah. Those are the three, like, real disappointments. Um... I, I like the the the, the <laughs> terrible part of me wants to add the flash. To I was list. just thinking about that. Like the terrible part of me wants <laughs> like, to add like the flash. Just the end, no, not the flash, but the ending yeah. of the flash. Like, just like oh the end. God. I was just like, oh. It was so bad. It, it was, was really so bad, bad looking was, back. Like Like thinking about it, it's like so like deflating of yeah. how like what they could have done and what they mm-hmm. ended up choosing to do. It was just like, oh my god, why? I know. <sighs> Well, right, if you want to add that, you we can, should you add it at least to the. Okay, nomination. we'll add that. The end. <laughs> yeah, like. The end. Of, like the second half of Flash. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just. We'll, we'll talk about that. It's not gonna be mine, but we'll, I don't know if that will be yours. Honestly, I'm thinking about okay, it. Okay, well, I'll talk about it a little bit since it's not mine. It's just we we've gone through it in like past episodes where it's just like the reveal that it was Future Barry, where at the moment it was cool. And it kind of, like, makes sense. From that moment on, there was, like, five, six more episodes of that. And it was just, like, so not... It didn't move the story forward at all. Well, it's also... Which is so weird. I'm sorry, but I can't get past that moment where they have that big metal Savitar suit. Uh-huh. And he just opens it up and walks right out. And I'm like... Why would you do that? The fuck <laughs> is this? Like, what is this? Like, no, this can't be happening. Like, what do you mean the reveal? Like, or you mean at the end? Just the the choices they made to oh. put him in this goddamn Iron Man weird looking fucking alien suit <laughs> and just have him just open it up and walk right out with a scar on his face. It just couldn't have been any more like, oh, like how did you? What was your vision? You know? Yeah, I mean, I just didn't like. The explanation that it wasn't really Barry, it was freaking a clone or time remnant. I don't know. It was stupid. It was dumb. I don't know. It was just really dumb. Like I said, like at the moment when it happened, it, re- it was revealed. It made sense. It was like, okay, that's cool. We'll see where this goes. I think they overplayed the evil thing, too. Yeah, like, I mean, they tried to make him redeemable in a yeah. way. Like, oh, you guys didn't really care about me. Mm-hmm. I'm not the real one. Yeah. Sort of thing. But it was just like... No one cares. I would have rather seen a more badass version of Barry come from the future. Just that version of evil Barry, but not with the overly played scar on his face and the big suit. Like, just legitimately a future version of Barry. It makes zero sense that he wants to kill Iris, either. Yeah. Like, I I just don't understand it. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to make you pay. I'm like, okay. And then, like, the, the explanation of how he's created. Like, if you don't do this, and Savitar never showed up, the, re- the time remnant was right. You know, it's just like a loop. And I'm like... I don't know. It's so dumb. It could have been. It could have been so many different things. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just. But there were still some cool scenes, some cool fight scenes. Yeah. I mean. Whatnot. I don't know. Yeah. It just was like really blah. That's that's the best way I could put it. And it wasn't. That's why it was not my biggest disappointment. It was just like, they just didn't stick the landing on it. It mm-hmm. was just like, okay, let's see where you go with this. And People then, will watch it like anyway. No, I, I watch them like okay, I get it wasn't what I was hoping for, but let's see what they go with. Right. And they could have gone so many different ways, and they just decided to go the most boring route. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, eh, okay, whatever. On, this, on the same note, The Defenders, it wasn't a biggest disappointment yeah. for me. Because I liked it. I, enjoy, I liked, it's funny, because we watched the first four episodes at San Diego, and I was like, oh, it's only going to get better from there, but it actually didn't. And no, the first didn't. four episodes were, like, the best part. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the fifth episode, too. I mean, towards um, some couple episodes at the end. I mean, it was great. I it it, left, it just it just it just 
I think we said this in our review. It got too iron fisty, almost. No, it, it just, they just, I don't want to bring up like The Last Jedi or anything like that, but it kind of have it had the same problems I have with The Last Jedi where oh God. certain things were built up and then they didn't follow through with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the whole hand and Sigourney yeah. Weaver's character. That was, was a like, letdown. That I'm was like, a what letdown. the fuck is this? And Electra's the villain thing. I went. Yeah. That was a huge I was just like, letdown. done. Because her performance was stellar and they didn't really have anywhere to go with her. Yeah, like there was like so many ways they couldn't have gone with this and they could have shown how really badass she was. You don't bring in an A-lister like that. And she's supposed to be this, the hand that was throughout all these seasons. Right. And then like we're finally going to see the, 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 the masterminds mm-hmm. of everything and they just suck. Yeah. They did. That was the problem with They it. really did. That was the whole problem with the yeah. show, was that the villain sucked. Yeah. And it was just like, it was supposed to be like this giant threat, and at the beginning it was. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, okay, wow. And then it just, <laughs> I don't know. And we still don't know what they were trying to do with Elektra. They still don't really explain it. Like, I, I, I figured she wanted to, like, in, you know, throw her head, her mind or something in Elektra's body. Right. And that's how they stay, like, immortal sort of yeah. thing. But they don't really explain that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and Electra like turning on them, fine, and then freaking becoming the bad guy, and her reasonings were stupid too. Yeah. Where it's just like, where it's just like, um, where was it? What was her reasoning? Oh, she wanted to like, so they could live forever, her and Daredevil. Bull. I was just like, oh, that's so stupid. I know. I don't know. There's so many more little minuscule things that I wrote about mm-hmm. now that I don't want to get into, but yeah, yeah. it just didn't all add up into a cohesive, um, you know, picture. But I, I did obviously enjoy the character team up, and I enjoyed the production. I enjoyed the f- choreography. Um, so I don't think it's going to be my biggest disappointment. No, it's not mine because yeah. this was like because we we shit on Iron Fist, but this was his best moments mm-hmm. were in Defender. So. Yeah. So what is yours? Was it the end of the Flash? I, I think I think it has to be in humans. Just it off the, off rip. Like I'm sorry. It is mine like, for sure. Like I didn't even finish it. You love the characters. I love the characters, which yeah. is why it's my biggest dipo- disappointment. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like they set up the mean, world. They set up the world with Shield. Yeah. Where the Inhumans. This is what the Inhumans are. So they already mm-hmm. set it up. You already you you can't fail. Right. You can't fail. Right. Everything's already set up in Shield, and then you you give us. You know the the nonsensical decision to make the first two episodes the a movie fucking case. movie into a movie, so the tone is way off because it's like this is not a movie. Like, I, why am I watching this in a movie theater? It was the biggest rip off. That was the biggest rip for sure. It's just like, don't watch it. Why? Why you make us like? Oh look, it's three D and IMAX, and I'm like, yo, who cares? I could have fucking. I would have rather seen it on a like one of those old twisty TVs from J C. Fucking Penny. I don't like, know, like. I, I've been saying it so long. They should have just introduced the family and then Shield, and then you could have this whole mini series on their past. And the, and you know what? They couldn't. They didn't even need like really a big villainy storyline. They just need to introduce these amazing characters and even just had some conflict within the family. They didn't need to bring in all these like outdoor like Earth motives. You know, like yeah. all we need to see was the Inhuman royal they family. To, like, yeah, because they were like, okay, here's the royal family. They've been on the moon the whole time, and like, oh, like Inhumans from Shield. Right. Like, oh, all the humans are popping up on Earth. Let's go save them. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, they, like I said, they should have had this whole storyline, a whole season dedicated. Yes, yeah, while you get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Where it's like. You could have had like a whole half a season of just introducing the royal family right. and having this whole storyline in like five, six episodes and then having them introduced into the world and having a spinoff from there. Right. Yeah, they didn't. I don't understand. I don't what know they were why doing. they didn't connect the two. It doesn't make any and sense. It's stu- and it's still not connected. Yeah. And it just crack- kills me. I'm like, which was like, uh, I thought that was the reason why Inhumans came first. Mm-hmm. But nope, it had nothing to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. this year, that we know of anyway. And I'm like, What's, what's going on here? Yeah. I don't understand. So that's definitely my biggest disappointment. And like, that I, was you, know a what, big you know what's so disappointing is that, like, how does that get past an executive team? Like, how do you pilot that and be like, oh, this works? <laughs> you know? Were, I feel like ABC or Disney were just like, here, here's a blank check. Just do what you want. That's the most disappointing yeah, part. That a lot of people were just like, oh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that's ridiculous. 
like whoever I'm just sorry. Like I don't even blame name? I don't um, even blame the writer. I don't blame that guy from IMAX. I blame the fucking oh, Jeff, Loeb. Jeff Loeb. Jeff Loeb. What the fuck are you doing, Jeff Loeb? Like yeah, you know what, know that, what a good T V show looks like. I don't know what that was. We've you've executive produced like some of our favorite shows on this goddamn list and you let that pass by your desk? I feel like it might not have been him. Probably like, I wanna give him the benefit of the doubt and they were just like above him we're just like just push it out. Yeah, they you know probably I mean? made a deal with IMAX, and you know what? They couldn't go back on it. Or That's like, probably like, it. Okay, this needs another yeah. draft. You know, <laughs> you know what the best part of that was? The intro sequence. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> like that—that that was the best part. Like that was the. Like intro. I, I will eventually watch it, just so. Oh, you didn't watch it. I haven't watched it. I can't bring myself up to watching it. Okay, well. I just can't do it. I thought that you did. I haven't watched it. What? <laughs> I can't bring myself to watch it. It's bad. It's really bad. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Like, I have zero... You don't smoke weed, but you should eat in a big brownie before you watch it. Because that's, <laughs> that's the only way, that's the only way you're not going to be angry. I just and, can't like, do throwing it. stuff at the after screen. Watching, after being in the movie theaters, watching it, and, like, I just can't watch this. Yeah. And I saw it again when it was on TV. I couldn't do it. We went together, right? We went together to yeah. see it in the movies, mm-hmm. in the movie. And then I saw it when it finally released on television. So like, okay, maybe it's different. Oh, God. It's still bad. Yeah. And I'm just like, I can't watch the whole season of this. I just can't do it. So yours is inhuman. I'm going to off principle of just uh, how could you with Iron Fist. I'm going to have, like, uh, with the, the his character development. You're going to say Iron Fist? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Because whoever, whoever, like, thought it was a good idea, they deserve, like, a spanking. Yeah, whoever wrote. This is the same guy who wrote Inhumans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm wrote in Iron Fist. Scott Buck. Scott Buck. Yo, he was just like... He's drawling. It was so, like, tone deaf. Yeah. That's really what it was. It wasn't it was self-aware. So fucking tone deaf. It was not self-aware. It's just like, how could you write this and, like, not realize what you're really saying in the hidden, in the subtext? Oh, yeah, it was really bad. It, I just... It was like... It, the biggest point, problem with it is that it's boring. Yeah. That's really the biggest problem with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, outside of that stuff, if it's entertaining, I could, like, kind of over, overlook it. But like it's just boring. See, the, see, I don't mind boring stuff. I mind boring stuff. Like, I, if I, like if it's the Punisher drag, is fucking boring. Uh, not it's really. boring. Oh yeah. It's engaging with the the, the yeah, subject matter. The is engaging. It's not. There's nothing happening. Like, there's struggle. Yeah. Like the the yeah. that that doesn't make it boring to me. It's right. Like, where it's like the Iron Fist, the the struggle and the mm-hmm. conflict is not, not there, there, and there's no action really. And he had a whole so comic. Bored. Say what you will about the character, mm-hmm. he's out of place. The character's out of touch. It uh-huh. shouldn't it shouldn't be a white guy. Like I'm all like I'm all for that. But like you can read the comic book. There is struggle in the story. His character kind of trying to adapt to modern life and like real world uh Problem, you know coming yeah. coming back you know after kind of trying to like assimilate i guess i, I not assimilate not the right well, word. after being away for so long and like yeah having a whole losing his parents yeah and coming back i'm like everything's different right you know what i mean that's an that's a relatable story that the fish out of water story yeah. they've done it so many times yeah and it's tropey but if you're gonna keep the character white then you know at least make it compelling um, because in this in this case, it, for the people who are really are pushing for a character of Asian descent, like they're right, it would have made the story a lot more compelling, interesting to a lot of different fans who love the character, you know. Um, but like you pointed out, we we saw how the story developed into the Defenders, where you know they're probably developing the heroes for hire is probably the only reason they introduced Iron Fist to begin with, because it is a lot to tackle. You know, uh, you're going to get backlash. They knew that going in. So I think they tried to develop the whole white privilege narrative and bring that into the fenders. Yeah, but they, it just wasn't well done. It wasn't well done. Like, if you were really, if that's what they were going for, which I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, I'm, say yeah. that they that's what they were doing, Right. it makes zero sense when he wasn't white privilege mm-hmm. for all those years. He was a kid. Yeah. He has no sense of what white privilege is because he was living more on that island with these monk people Mm -hmm. than he was actually living as a corporate kid. You know what I mean? So it's like, so him coming back and being like, oh, white privilege makes zero sense to me. Yeah. It's like, you should have instilled, they should have instilled all these principles to you while you're out there. Yeah. And for you to come back, you should have been like a monk kind of person. Yeah, almost exactly. Like almost like Aang in the yeah, last Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good way that's to put it. That's where it should have been. Yeah. Like him, like, while all that white privilege shit is going around around him, 
Mm-hmm. You know, he should have been someone who wasn't like that. Exactly. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. That's a good, that's a hot take. And but it's just like, yeah. but the reason they did it was so he could have that conflict with mm-hmm. Luke Cage and Defenders, it w- which yeah. is fine. Which was was fine, but it just in the grand scheme of things. You know, know what I didn't like is that it placed the responsibility on Luke to like handhold him through the experience mm-hmm. through it, and I just find that unsettling. You know, in a way. Like, it's a reality that, like, a lot of, you know, people of non-white, like, people who aren't white have to do, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But to see it in front of your face where it's like, Luke Cage has to be the one to be like, no, no, like, you can't do that. You know I mean, what I mean? doesn't he not of, have, like, an Asian girlfriend? Who's like, you know yeah, I mean? ex- like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. It's like, I don't, why, <laughs> why? Like, so I, while at the same time, I did like that they were ambitious enough to have that converse, confrontational conversation between mm-hmm, Luke mm-hmm. and Iron Fist, and I respect that. I would like to think it was, like, that was future planning yeah. and not just, like, a reactionary thing to Iron Fist. Right. Where, like, okay, we need to, like, you know, bring it up. <laughs> exactly. But at the same like that now. <laughs> at the same time it was off putting and yeah. and it's weird because I wonder because Netflix kind of we don't know if this is true, but Netflix said that Iron Fist was actually pro- the most streamed I think it was like hate streamed. Yeah. You know what I mean? People just wanted to watch yeah. to hate it, you mm-hmm. know? But Oops. uh I so Iron Fist and just because second, isn't it getting the second season? Yeah it is. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And it's very <laughs> Luke Cage oriented the second season. I thought Luke Cage was getting his own season too. Yeah he is, yeah. So Luke Cage comes first, though. You know what's interesting, though, in the comics? And and this was an interesting choice. I'm not the biggest Iron Fist comic book person, but I know he is with Misty Knight a lot. Yeah, he is. And I I was pretty certain he was not with, uh, what's her name? Um, Oh. uh, Colleen. Colleen. Like, he didn't have a romantic thing with Colleen in the comics at all. He had a thing with Misty Knight, Mm -hmm. but not with Colleen. Right. And the change... Is interesting to me. Like, They're not gonna put him with Misty. No, not now, no. Yeah. But like that was always interesting to me. Yeah. Like, I mean, they could if they really wanted no, to. No, they're not. But, gonna. but I don't feel like it's the way that their their characters are going. It's like no, that's not happening. Yeah. I think prediction. I think Luke and um, Rosario oh. are gonna break up. I've been saying she's gonna die soon. I I don't know if they have the balls to do that, but they're gonna. Break I thought they. I sure almost did in Defenders. Well, he's gonna commit to the superhero life, and yeah. she's not having it. She's not having it. She's no, a did smart she accept woman. it at the end? Isn't that what the whole thing was? She yeah, accepted it? but women always say that they do and they don't. Hey, uh, like, <laughs> I ain't going there. All right, so that's our biggest disappointment, right? You're in humans. I'm Iron Fist. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we disagree on that one. That's a fine. Bit, we almost re- we were almost agreed again on yeah. that one. Um, so yeah, we'll go into our best movie then. Mm-hmm. So our our stuff we have Logan here. We have Wonder Woman, Guardians Volume Two, Spider Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Justice League. Are we missing anything? Yeah, I thought it was a little bit short. I felt like there was another movie out, and I don't recall. But if we don't remember it, then then I guess it wasn't it wasn't that memorable. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I have to say, I'm narrowing it down to Logan or Wonder Woman. There's mm-hmm. no doubt. There's no doubt. Yeah, um, between those two. Yeah. Um, that's not to say that we're having best moments category coming up. That some of these movies are gonna have a moment in there. They're great. All these movies are very good. Yeah, we all enjoyed all of them. Yeah. Um, I think Guardians Volume Two is probably the last on the list for me. I like I told you off camera. I saw it for the second time over the. Christmas. Not a bad movie. And I yeah. enjoyed it more on the second view. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I, I get this movie now. Yeah. And I understand. Maybe it's because of this, it's the movie, like you're in a movie theater. I know. And it's yeah. just like, you're expecting like this mm-hmm. mind blowing thing. You but just then, like, dropped at home, like your half your paycheck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, I, just, I just spent like $30 yeah. for two tickets. Like, oh, that's fantastic. Not including popcorn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like, so then when I'm, I'm relaxing at home and watching it, I'm mm-hmm. just like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. And like, yeah. I get, I like the message it was trying to. Oh, I liked but, it as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. So between Logan and Wonder Woman for me too. Mm-hmm. I already know mine because I saw it recently again. <laughs> Did you watch Logan again? Yes. It's on HBO for free. Yes. Yeah, that's why I, I literally I saw debated, it again, like, I debated watching it yesterday. I was watching but then it I watched Dark Knight instead. Okay, I was watching it yesterday. Yeah. Like after after work, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, it's on. Let me watch I mean, it. it's I I has to be for me just because. Oh, it's so tough because. I think Wonder Woman was just, it was great. Yeah. It was great. But it was 
an average movie as far as the storytelling choices and yeah. where it went. It was like and, a typical origin middle, movie sort of thing. And, you yeah. know, beginning, middle, end. And um, <laughs> I'll never forget the scene at the end that was so off-putting with the villain. What's his name? Oh, Ares. Uh, Ares. When he yeah. comes out and it's like a metal, like... It's like know? a knight. You know, I'm, a, yeah. I'm like in a suit of armor. Um... Oh, it's so close, though. But Logan. Oh, I love Wolverine. I love Hugh Jackman. And I thought that was an amazing send-out. Um, I think that I Wonder Woman 2 could probably be better than the first. I would hope so. I would think um, they would expand mm-hmm. on... Because it's supposedly supposed to be uh, supposed to be in the past again. Mm-hmm. So, and, and the rumor is Cheetah is going to be the villain, oh. which is fine. Like, that's exactly yeah. what it should be. <laughs> that's exactly what it should be. That's probably her most recognizable villain. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like, especially with the same team, the directors are coming back and everything, that it should be even better. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like WB would be like, Go, do what you got to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Wonder Woman, they might, I think they did that a little bit with Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. but I feel like they had some, like, hand Hesitation, in something. yeah. Because, like, obviously they haven't had the best track record. But now that this was probably their most successful movie ever. Ever. That yeah. they're just like, all right, do what you got to do. Yeah. Almost like what uh, Marvel did with James Gunn and mm-hmm. Guardians. Yeah. They were like, the first one was really good. And they were like, okay, do what the hell you want for the second one. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. And you can see a lot of his humor was in the second one. Like, mm-hmm. oh, this is really what I want to do yeah. kind of thing. Um, I think it's so close for me with Wonder Woman and Logan. Um, but I think what it comes down to is lo- the same reason I like The Punisher. There's just something deep about uh, Logan Yeah, that's really hard to replicate without Hugh Jackman, you know? This is, this is, uh, I, this is how, I, it's funny how I, I grade these because I watch 98% of these movies with my, my fiance mm-hmm. in the movie theater. She, I drag her with me to go with me to a lot of these <laughs> movies. Um, and we saw Logan. And I remember sitting in the movie theater with her and her reactions to the movie. Yeah. And she's very, like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's her, like, in the movie theater. She's it's like, that's stupid. Yeah. That shouldn't <laughs> make sense. And I'm like, got to suspend your disbelief. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this one, she was just all into this movie. Mm-hmm. And I was, And, like, too. the ride home just talking about the whole movie. Mm-hmm. And I was just like... Now, watching the movie again yesterday, I've seen it a few times. So, watching it again yesterday made me think of that. That night that we saw it, I'm like, damn, like, that really, like, I remember watching it and be like, fuck. Like, almost like getting all emotional at the oh, end. Yeah. And, like, I'm like, yo, this fucking movie. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on here? Mm-hmm. And I heard, like, it was a great movie. It's changing the genre and everything. And it does. That's why it's my best movie of 2017, because it's like, it took the superhero genre and just put it on his head. I, I I think what it comes down to for me is all the shows, the writing was so good. In the movies, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. The writing in Logan is so good. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, and Wonder Woman, it, it wasn't as, you know... Uh, advantageous. It was. It was really what you'd expect for a superhero. It was movie. safe. I don't want to say safe because it wasn't a safe movie. One woman, yeah. Um, but it wasn't it's anything. Not, it was that, closer to safe than Logan was. I mean, you could have replaced Wonder Woman with a lot of different characters, and the movie still would have been good. You know, it it really exceeded for the superhero genre, but it wasn't game changing like your fiance said. It wasn't. It, it didn't. It didn't have a different aura about it. You know, besides for the fact that it's this amazing woman like leading. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um. But I think Logan. I think Logan did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and it's it, funny because in our best moments list, Logan doesn't have a. Does it have a best moment in the list? You have one here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You wrote one down. But I know my best moment already, so, and it's not in Logan. So um, mine too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but that that's like we can't really say it enough. Like it's like if you haven't seen it, the impact. Yeah. It's just like it's funny. Like it has no connection. Like it has connections to other X Men movies, yeah. but like you don't have to watch any of those. Yeah. It stands alone so well. Yeah. It explains everything so well. It, it the performances from. Patrick Stewart, mm-hmm. Professor Xavier, to I don't remember Lauren Kinney, I think her name mm-hmm. is, who does X twenty three, and obviously Hugh Jackman as Logan. All of them are great. I I feel bad though. I sh- I would do want to preface this with the fact that 
part of the reason Wonder Woman was safe is because she had to be, you know? Um, it's the first, arguably, like, the most well-known female superhero. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously there aren't a lot of female directors, uh, writers, um, so putting a lot of women in the same room and having them develop this movie was a risk, and I can imagine being in their position, you know, with a bunch of male trying executives to yeah. trying to be successful, they maybe were a little bit restricted, not because anyone said so, but because, because yeah. the they nature... They wanted to, yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. So, so I do want... You know what? I think I got a tie. I think I got a. I think I'm. <laughs> I think it, I think I'm tied. You know. Okay, that's fair. So I'll stick with Logan, but Wonder yeah. Woman is a close second for mm -hmm. me. But Wonder Woman was really good. Like I went in there, and another again, and we'll get into it later. Yeah. Was just like, just talking like my my girlfriend, my fiance, was just like, oh, that's like. Yeah. Just talking about it during the movie and like after the movie, we we're just talking about it. Yeah. So it's just like that's how I like, because it's funny because we saw Guardians together, and we were both like, eh. Spider Man, it's all together. We're both like. Spider Man it was had all right. no lasting impact. Oh, no. For me. Uh, same thing with Guardians. Yeah. None of those had lasting impact. No. We saw, I saw Thor with her, and we both were like not high on it. I didn't see. She didn't see Justice League. I'm the only one that saw Justice League. I liked Justice League. Honestly, I liked it's it probably the third one. I, I liked Justice League a lot. I saw it with my friends. I would say Logan, Wonder Woman, then Justice League, I would say. I'll probably say Logan, Wonder Woman. I'll probably say. It's funny. I'd say it had no impact, but I like. On second viewing, I like Guardians so much. I loved, I really like Justice League. I don't Justice League, I think, is just like a, a really cool popcorn movie. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just no meaning behind it. Just go in, just yeah. having fun. Yeah. That's really all it was. The worst part was Batman. I would yep. never thought I would say that. Yep. But especially after watching The Dark Knight, oh, I'm just like, but I even, don't, even he's a Bruce, weird Batman and he's a weird Bruce Wayne. Christian Bale? Yeah. Yeah, but he's a good Batman. Yeah. I think it's flipped for Ben Affleck. He looks weird in the cowl. His cheeks are too, you know? He's too, prof like, you know Ben Affleck under there. Yeah. I don't know. I just It's weird to say that. Mm -hmm. Like, I see Ben Affleck with yeah. a, a stupid Halloween costume on. I don't yeah, know. exactly. Okay, so, so best, best movie, movie for you, Logan. Yep. I think for me, it's. I think it's both. I think I gotta give it a okay. tie. You, you, you gotta give credit where it's due. That's fair. Know? I'm giving Wonder Woman a close second okay. for sure. Okay. All right. So what's what we have here? Let's go to best moment then. Okay, best moment. Them. All right. So on here we have a couple of statements on here that you wrote down. <laughs> um, it says Superman is alive. What do you mean that? What does that mean? Just the moment where he, you know, they they bring him back and okay. he kind of just comes up and he's like he's shirtless and he's just like shirtless. And then you know the little moments we have between like facial him and the hairless, flash and, facial hairless. Yeah. <laughs> Because it was just a, it was a moment for me where it was like, yes, it was just like this is what DC is all about, Superman. You oh, know, I mean, I, I I'll kind of narrow it down to when the Justice when he fights the Justice League. Yeah, okay. That was like literally. I, I remember going like this to my friends. And I'm like, it was like five of us. We were like, I'm like, holy shit! Did you <laughs> see that? Like the whole thing when the Flash like mm -hmm. tries to go around him. And he's, obviously, he's the Flash. Everything slowed down. And he just goes. <laughs> the yeah. Flash's face goes, oh, my God. That's, like, my favorite. That's so good. Damn, I don't know what my favorite moment is now. Without Wonder Woman, it. the next one is Wonder Woman takes the tower. Okay. I don't know if that's a good description. But. Well, I think you mean, like, when they actually get to the town, and yeah. then, like, she goes into the tower and just wrecks she, shit like, up. Bump, she, like, jumps up. Yeah, and you go right through the building and just kills everyone pretty yeah. much. Yeah, Um That was, I was crying. Good. I was crying. My Oh, yeah, you were telling me, but. My mine in that movie was like right before it, where it's like in the battlefield. In the battlefield, I forget what the place was called. It was an iconic, like. Oh my god! I had goosebumps. Yeah, I watching did too. in the movie theater, I was like, oh my god! I loved the slow mo in that movie. Yeah, I, I loved it. Yeah. I know people complain, oh Zack Snyder's influence. I'm like, it worked. It worked. I'm yeah. Like her down there and like her with the shield down. I want those moments like this, to last, like, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want it to be? Oh, I forget what it was called. No No Man's Land. No Man's Land. That's something it. like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that moment was really good. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Like, they're like trying to tell her you can't go up there. Like, why not? Right. It's like, we have to go save those people. And like, I don't care what you guys think. I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, my gosh. And like, she just walks up in her whole suit, takes the jacket off, whatever. <laughs> Damn. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. You're, like, in awe. You're, like. No, it's, like, amazing. I know. It that is. whole part is amazing. Yeah. Um, 
Then we have here the Defenders' first fight ever. That's when they get to... Uh, the Chinese spot. Uh, no, 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 no. That, no, I, don't you mean when they get to the tower? You mean... And they the, finally meet? At the table? Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, too, yeah. That's Are good. you thinking about the actual, actual Chinese restaurant? I don't know. We just specify. Hmm. I, I think, I, I think me, the table. I think the table. My, for me, when they... Because it was Iron Fist first... And then Luke Cage shows up, and it's just Iron Fist and Luke Cage like mm-hmm. beating everyone up. And that, and the part where he punches and shatters Iron Fist, the sword. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where yeah. it's like. Poof. Yep. Oh, that's Electra. Yep. Yeah. And then like Jessica Jones finally shows up, and Daredevil shows up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was really good. That was lit. It was like yeah. Iron, uh, Luke Cage was just like protecting Iron mm-hmm. Fist with the bullets, and yep. then turned around, and Iron Fist was beating shit up. I was like, oh man, so yeah. good. That was good. That was really good. Um, then you have Crisis on Earth X. Pretty much the whole crossover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Fortnite crossover. Yeah, four hours. I mean, it was didn't end. The action did not end. Like. I mean, I was we we raved about it on our episode mm-hmm. of reviewing it, but it was just like the whole the whole four, that's like one of the, probably the best people you could watch that as a movie. Oh yeah. And like just sit down and watch four hours of it, and it's like so good. Yeah. Um, all the performances were good. The budget was there, mm-hmm. and they were just like. The plot was nice and, you know, That tight. first, I, I, we could even narrow it down to that first, like, with the in the wedding, when they first come yeah, in, and you know, out, yeah. um, and we see everyone. Or kinda, at the end. When or at all, the end. All the crazy shit that happens yeah, at the end. Yeah, with Captain Cole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that last episode was. Yeah. yeah, that was, that really brought the house down. I was just yeah, like, Yeah, it really did. Yeah. Damn. Um, um, then we have when... Peter I don't know why I add this, but I... I don't know. But it was a good scene, though. It was like yeah. when Peter Parker and the Vulture in the car, they take him to prom, mm-hmm. and he tells him to hold back while the, the daughter goes in. Yeah. He just pulls the gun out <laughs> on him. And I went, holy shit. That was the best scene in the movie, I think. Yeah, that was like yeah. really like... Yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting anxiety right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching, I'm like, holy shit, what the hell is he going to do? That was a really good scene. And then we have X-23 Rex shit. Which is pretty much the her whole, the whole yeah. movie, <laughs> but in the, her first time fighting him, like in that uh, in Mexico, mm-hmm. when like you know the guy goes in to get her, all he hears screams, and then she comes out with the head, and just like like little like you seen the previews, yeah. people, you know, it's just like the thing slowly, but he's like, no, stay back, no, no, and then he, she just like kills everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was. Uh, that was really good. That's it, right? Yep, that's all that we have here. I don't think there was anything else. Um, I think Wonder Woman for me. Yeah, yeah, the whole, that whole. But Crisis on Earth X is a really close. Yeah, thing. me for me, it's gonna be the Wonder Woman scene yeah. with, on the No Man's Land. Mm-hmm. Her walking out like that, even it, extending it to the tower scene too. Yeah, that whole thing. I can't fight that first reaction. You know? Yeah, so that's gotta be it. All right, moving on. Do you want to do best character or best new character? New first, maybe. Yeah, let's do new. We'll do new character. So the best new character, we have four here. I don't know if there's any... Oh, you know what? I'll put this person down, too. I'll start with this. Mantis from the Guardians. Because I recently saw it. So I was just thinking about it. I'm like, oh, Mantis. Mm. What do you think about Mantis on Guardians 2? She's fine. Yeah. Yeah, like, I was talking to my uncle, who's a big comic book fan. I'm like, that's not how Mantis is supposed to be. Yeah. And even the creator of Mantis was like, this is not the Mantis I created. Right. Like, she was really aloof and stupid in the movie. Which, you know, I guess is fine. I'm trying to think what other new characters there are. I'm just thinking of, like, the movies and the shows. Yeah. And not really anyone, really. Um, so what we have here, we have X-23, obviously, from Logan. Um, then we have Valkyrie from Thor, Ragnarok, who was awesome. And, uh, yeah, Valkyrie, oh, Tessa Thompson, from who played Valkyrie in Thor, was really good. She's probably the best part of the movie for me. Hmm. Um, recurring, I mean, main characters, quote unquote. Um, then we got the Rock dude. What was his name Throg, Grog, or something? He was good. He was so hysterical. Small, small part, but yeah. he was just like a memorable character that everyone like loved. Mm-hmm. So he was great. I put down the elongated man from Flash. Um, I'm gonna Ralph. add Polaris. Okay, Ralph Dibney. Uh, I didn't choose, like, any of the new shows because, like, they're all technically new. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, everything else, I was just like, oh, like, these are franchises and just a new character thrown in, mm-hmm. you know? But you can put Polaris down there. Yeah. 
So go ahead, talk about Polaris. Because it's either to me, or it's either X twenty three or Polaris. I think. Because you could like you could be the best new character and the best character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So, uh, so what 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 you like about Polaris though? I just like her. She just her powers are great. She has a cool personality. Mm-hmm. Um, excited to see where it's, she's headed. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, she's probably like the, the the most badass of all the characters mm-hmm. on that show. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so who's your I might be biased because the actress is kind of cool. But, uh, <laughs> You've had a couple of uh, yeah. talks with her X-23, already. X-23, she's really cool, though. I don't yeah. know where they're going to go with her, though. I don't think you anything. You might never see her again. I don't again. think we'll ever see her again, yeah. which is a shame. I mean, I'll, not in another movie like this, I mm-hmm. guess. There's no new character in the Arrowverse besides Elongated Man. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of Arrow, and it wasn't really. I mean, Prometheus was great. He's really good. He was very good. Uh, he might be my top one. I didn't even think about villains. Yeah. He's really good. I think he, yeah. I'm going to go Prometheus. Yeah, Prometheus? Yeah. Hey, write that down. Prometheus. What was his name? Chase or something? Because mm-hmm. I was thinking, I'm like, who was new in the Arrow? No one. Yeah. He's I mean, unless you count, like, the new recruits, but I guess yeah, that's... Yeah, none of them are my top. No. Not even the new Black and no. was pretty... I like her, but... I like her, but, but she's, she's not... But she's not my top. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I like Rob Dimney. I think it's too early to make him yeah. like the best, though. Mm-hmm. Like I like him a lot, but he's only just gone on the show. Right. Um. I like Valkyrie a lot. X twenty three. Can I? I don't think I could say she's not going anywhere. Yeah. But like X twenty three, you like her one. Like if we're gonna I go know. one performance, one performance. She didn't even barely speak. <laughs> I know, but that, when it, that's what made it so great. Yeah. When she finally spoke, you're like, what the fuck. <laughs> And her speaking Spanish cracked me up. Um, I'm going to have to go X-23. I'm going to go Prometheus, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I know I have, like, the boring picks. Like, oh, of course you'll t- pick X-23. I'm like, I can't deny. Yeah. Like, she was amazing. Mm-hmm. So I'm going X-23. Yeah, I love the way they did her character, speaking in Spanish and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. she wasn't she didn't talk at all. Yeah. And all of a sudden, she just talks. Yeah. Cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, because the whole, the whole place was, like, laughing. Yeah. I was cracking up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go Prometheus just because that he really added another dimension. Oh, yeah, he was probably yeah. strongest in Slade. Yeah. Since Deathstroke, he was the strongest villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I want to th- give some Arrow love out there. Yeah, because, of course. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So that goes right into the best character. Best Overall, character. Overall, you have here White Canary. We have Polaris here, Wonder Woman, Phil Coulson. Spider Man, Hugh Jackman, which I guess is Logan, <laughs> not the ki- not the character Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Um, Superman. Is anyone else? I put Superman. I don't know. Does you he deserve it yet? I don't know. He only had like yeah. 30 minutes of screen time. I don't know. Um, you can put him, put him there. Um, yeah, the best character of the There's year. There's so many. You didn't even have any of the Netflix guys on here. <sighs> no, none of them? Uh, I mean, Madam Gao. I, it reminded me how much I loved Daredevil's character. Yeah, I know. But, I almost like, I put him down. I, I think I put him down and erased him. But I can't put him in because like he didn't. He wasn't like the focal point. I mean, I guess. he was kind of a little bit. It, it it was really directly to him because obviously he started it all. Yeah. But like I'm like so psyched for Daredevil season three. Yeah. I know. He's like his, the actor is really good and his storyline is so good. Um, I think that's it. Um, Defenders, nobody. Iron Fist, no. Even though Colleen Wing is pretty good. Um, Shield? No. Anyone in Shield besides Coulson? Mm. You don't like Daisy? Uh, she didn't do enough. You don't like Agent May? I love May. No, but she was, a, she, was gone, she was gone a lot from the framework. She yeah. was gone for like 10 episodes. Mm-hmm. She was like just sleeping. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess man. that was it. So who was yours? It's between White Canary and... I don't want to say Agent Coulson because he's just the same character he's always yeah. been. It's hard to be the best when you're in an ensemble yeah. cast. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, let's be real. It, let's be real. Tom Holland killed it. He did kill it. Like Tom Holland killed it. Yeah, he was really good. I, I saw Civil War again yeah. on Christmas. <laughs> so I saw yeah. Civil War and then Guardians Two mm-hmm. back to back, and I'm like, damn, he was really good. I mean, he really just embodies really that character. Good. So I feel like it'd be a shame if I didn't. 
say him. Spider-Man? But White Canary, she provides a lot to Legends of Tomorrow. She was great in the crossover. She, uh, you know, she's just a, she's just a great character. Mm-hmm. I love her really leading the, the wave rider. Um, her relationship, that was a funny moment with Alex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. During the crossover, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're going to go with... I think I'm going to go... I got to go Spider-Man. Okay, Spider-Man yeah. for you. I got to go Spider-Man. Yeah. I, I'm going to go Wonder Woman because... That movie was really good, and she held her own. Gal Gadot is... She was really good. I know um, Chris Pine's character, like, really was really good. Mm-hmm. If we had a, a category for best supporting character in a movie, yeah. he might have been mm-hmm. it for me because he was so good, and they worked so well together. The chemistry was natural. Yeah. It was, like, really good. And then her performance in Justice League, yeah. I feel, is really... Was the well, best. Was, like, really put it over because her story melt... Like, it, it was smart on their part to give the Wonder Woman one movie first to show why she went away for so long. Right. And then come back and then be the, the leader. Mm-hmm. You know, when Batman's like, no, you need to lead them. Sort of thing. And then that whole thing. And then she probably had one of the best moments for me where, two of the best moments. One was when she was fighting with Batman and Batman brought up Chris Pine, um, Trevor, and she pushes him. <laughs> Like You've been talking about that moment forever. But that's just it's so funny because it was so well edited because it was so quick. Yeah. Like, it's just like, he goes, yeah, but, you know, just because this guy died, he just, she just pushes him. Like, just go, oh, crap. Because <laughs> you're like, yo, he's just a man to yeah, her. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's like a god. He's just a man. <laughs> he's just a man. Even though I'm so glad they didn't, like, pull the trigger on that whole Batman Wonder Woman thing. Yeah. Because that was, like, so if heavily. If they do that, fuck them. That was so, I mean, I don't mind it. I do. But it was so heavily alluded to in the movie. I was just At like, least oh. give her the younger Batman they're going to replace Ben Maybe. Affleck with after Flashpoint. <laughs> That's At least wait until after. That's funny. John Hamm wants to be in. Isn't he give her older? Jake Gyllenhaal. Isn't he older like, than Ben Affleck, John Hamm? Yeah. Maybe. Do you think they would ever, like, have, like, a Batman of, like, a different race? That's I don't a, think they will. You don't think so? I don't think they will do that. Because I feel like, like, there's so many actors that, like, aren't white that could, like, nail that role. Well, I mean, Damien is half Asian, I think. Like, the some, guy some. from um, Fresh Off the Boat, the father. Him? Yeah. I think he would be a He's great... He's too comedic to No, me. he would... I think he could Didn't do he it. Didn't he play King John un in that movie? I don't know. With uh, Seth Rogen and what's his... Whatever. Maybe he'd be a better Superman. Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe like uh, Idris Elba or something. I can see Idris Elba. Yeah. No, he'll be James Bond. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but the other moment I want to say was when she's fighting Superman and she ties him up. Oh, I, I love that. And then he like, she headbutts him. Mm-hmm. No, he headbutts her. And then like, she goes, oh, oh, okay. And <laughs> like, she tries to headbutt him and doesn't do anything. And she, he just like, that's her. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, shit. Oh, oh, ugh. Um, that was really great. So she she was really good in like all of it. So I, I love her character in both movies. I'm I'm excited for Wonder Woman two. Yeah, Wonder Woman. And she's too. pretty much like the the one shining light in the Warner Brothers DC yeah, universe. She is. So she's holding she, it down. She is the savior of the Warner Brothers. You DC know what? Comic Cyborg. Movies. He was really good. Honestly, he's up there. He was really good. He should have been on best character. New character. He was Cyborg. Cyborg was really good. Cyborg was really good. He was really good. He was way better than I thought he was going to be. Like, I, I thought he was going to be, like, yeah. relegated to the back. And, no, he was really good. Cyborg, yeah. Yeah, he was good. Yeah. I think I'm still going to give it to Tom Holland, but I yeah. want to include Cyborg in there. No, definitely put him in there. He was really good. Yeah. You can even put him as best new character. Yeah, that's true. To. Who did I choose? Prometheus? Yeah. I'll stick with that. Yeah. But he can still be a nominee, too, for yeah. that. Yeah, Wonder Woman for me. All right. So then we go to our final car- category. So, yeah, we talked a lot about 2017. Now mm-hmm. we're going to just talk a little bit about 2018 and what we are looking forward to the most. We have Black Panther coming out in February, Infinity War in May, I think. Uh, Deadpool 2, I have no idea when that comes Probably out. Probably not 2018, right? Deadpool 2? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Excuse <laughs> yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Phoenix. Hiccup, I, think. I don't know if that was a hiccup. Or I don't know what that was. I just felt I needed to say that. Dark Phoenix. <laughs> say it for me. Since I didn't say it. Dark Phoenix. Is that 2018? Yeah. Really? Black. That's like late. I think 2018. Um, Black Lightning, which I know you're very excited about. Uh, Krypton. I know you're very excited about that clo- clock and dagger. It's cloak and dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Is cloak the Watchmen HBO series coming out no, in 2018? No way. Okay. I'll be so surprised. 
Um, Young Justice season three, I guess, and then Titans. Mm. You, you're sure that's coming out in 2018? Yes. Okay. Mm. So, between the movies and the TV shows, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to more TV shows. I will. Okay. Movie Black Panther. There's no doubt. Okay. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Um, TV shows. It's between uh-huh. Krypton and Black Lightning. I'm waiting for you to say something. I know. I, I'm just trying to. <laughs> it's so hard to say something about stuff that you don't really know anything about, like clo- like cloak and dagger. I mean, from the yeah, I mean that's gonna be great. We already I know. Mean, yeah, I mean it could be bad too. It's on yeah. free form, right? I like the casting decisions though. Mm-hmm. Um, Krypton, it's so deep. It has so much. So I don't know where they're gonna go with it. They're having Adam Strange come back from the future. Uh, we're gonna get to see like a sci-fi's version of like Krypton, which if you watch Battlestar Galactica and all those shows, the thing and about Krypton, you know the world they can develop. The thing about Krypton is just like, does it have any ties to anything? They no. can just do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, exactly. Almost like Gotham, mm-hmm. where it's just like, yeah, we have like a baseline, mm-hmm. and we can just do our own thing with these characters. Yeah. So I feel like they're gonna do that with Krypton. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm really excited just to see like how far they go, how far they push the boundaries. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to like the CGI kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like, are they going to give them the budget? Right, to they do will what they have to do. Yeah, sci-fi has really, really like high production mm-hmm. uh, shows. But uh, Black Lightning, I think it's going to be really different than all the CW shows. They paid to have Kendrick Lamar in their latest mm-hmm. promotion. Like, that's you know, that's an investment. That's an investment. They they have high hopes. I'm yeah. sure. It looks really good. Yeah, it, lo- it does. Like, what, what did I tell you? Look like um, his costume hasn't. I'm not sold on his costume. I want to see it like in action. Yeah. Um, looks too bulky to me. It, it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, I said it looked like something else to to me. Another show. Uh, you said it looked like Black Bolt. Black Bolt. That's what you said. No, 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 no. Like the the tone of the show. Oh. Like I was watching like the previews. I'm like, this reminds me of something else. I don't think it was Luke Cage. Maybe it was Luke Cage. I don't know. It doesn't remind me of anything. It reminded me of something like, oh, this seems very Luke Cage-y. I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally wrong. Yeah. Um, so do you, so you Black Panther and Black Lightning? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are my two for a TV show movie. I don't know if I can decide between, you know. That's fair. You have your favorite, your yeah. most anticipated movie and most anticipated. I don't know if there's any DC movies coming out next year. I think there is. I just don't know. Maybe Aquaman. I don't know. I don't know. What Aquaman comes out. Justice League two. No, I think it's Aquaman next. Mm. Uh, Ant Man. No, that's Marvel. Yeah, that is. On, that should be on here too. I guess Ant Man. Um, but I have no no feelings. We don't have that. any DC movies on here. It has not because I I couldn't think of any. I think Aquaman is the next one. The Batman. No, I think it's Aquaman. The Gotham Sirens. No, One Woman Two. No. Flash. No. Cyborg. No. What are they doing in 2018? I think it's Aquaman. Because they, they have, like, s- photos already. Yeah, that's true. It's, so I think it's Aquaman. There's been photos for it. Great. We'll say Aquaman, but because it's not going to make my list anyway. Because yeah. <laughs> he was, like, my most... People, like, loved him in Justice League. I had no feelings towards He's Aquaman. He's fine. He's whatever to me. I was yeah. just like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't care. Um, okay, so for me, movie-wise, I'm re- I, I, I love the X-Men. Dark Phoenix... I'm very hopeful. I'm like that, uh, that cautiously photo. optimistic about that movie because Apocalypse was not the greatest movie. Yeah. Um, it was fine, but I like the new kids that they brought in, and I'm hoping they just like focus on them. And obviously, they're gonna focus on Jean because right. she becomes a dark phoenix, and it looks really cool from the photos. But I don't know. I was hoping Jennifer Lawrence would go by, but she's not, so she'll take up more screen time. I don't know what they're going to do with that. So I'm looking forward to it just because I'm an X-Men fan. Yeah. But I'm probably looking forward to Infinity War. It's like, I can't not. You know, that trailer was amazing to me, bringing everything together full circle. And and when I said it off camera, I feel like it's going to change the game for the Marvel Universe. Like, it's just like nothing's going to be the same after that. Yeah. And I feel like Daniel's is going to stand tall and be the winner. I mean, there's no doubt that's going to be a breadwinner, and it's going to be a movie oh that God. unforgettable. It's going to make so much, make make so so much, much money. money. Yeah, it could <clears throat> it could really like it could bring the fandom to the next level. Yeah, you know, like it could bring a lot of things because the people it's the same directors who made Winter Soldier, my favorite Marvel mm-hmm. movie. They did Civil War, which is really good. 
Um, and now they're doing this. Mm-hmm. Both movies, I think. Right. So good for them. Yeah. The Russo brothers, I think there are. TV wise, I'm looking forward to Young Justice season three. <laughs> even though the but, whole world. Yeah, but like. I kind of forgot about it yeah. because, like, there's, like, nothing out there. Yeah. And I know it's animated, so it takes a long time. Mm-hmm. But after San Diego, it's like, oh, man, it's going to be really cool. But, like, there is nothing out there I mean, the Titan it. show is exciting as well. I love the photos and yeah. the costumes look really good. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, the legit Teen Titans, you know what I mean? I'm pretty Minus yeah. Cyborg, unfortunately. I'm but. pretty excited for New Mutants, but I'm a little bit apprehensive about, like, the horror movie. Yeah, movie I'm, movie. Not a, I'm not a... F- I yeah. mean, it could be great. Mm-hmm. It could really be really good, but I'm not, like... I don't know if I'm going to watch it in movies, honestly. Yeah. I don't think that's... A, unless there's something, like, more previews that, like... Right. Convince me otherwise. But, like, from that first trailer, I was like... It wasn't what is my... This? It wasn't my thing. No. Yeah, um, I was just like, I don't know what this is. I don't... It's not really a superhero movie. Which, I guess, is the point. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know. What... Oh, yeah, Deadpool 2 is Cable. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Deadpool 2 is going to be great. I hope so. Uh, will be. They're having a Deadpool animated series on FX oh, for 2018 as well. Donald Glover's writing it. That was Spider-Man. No. It's Deadpool? Mm-hmm. He's writing Deadpool, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He made, like, an FX deal for, you know, Atlanta and some other stuff, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that should be good. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to look forward to in 2018, yeah. so. Uh, so your yeah. topic is Infinity War. And I guess Young Justice. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, well... That sums it up for 2018. Did you have any closing thought, honorable mentions? Uh, I mean, there was some great stuff in 2017. I mean, kudos. I think it was the year of Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. for sure. Like, it, it, we said it before, just, like, it saved the what, DC comics. Yeah, no matter universe, what people say, it was DC's year, I feel like. I don't think yeah. Justice League was that big of a failure. No, it wasn't a big failure. Yeah. Like, despite the critics or whatever. Right. It was just like... Yeah. And I know despite the mo- the money that it didn't mm-hmm. make, because of bad word of mouth or whatever. Yeah. But, like, it was really, like, it was enjoyable. And it it, it, it did its job by bringing Superman back and introducing all the other characters. I, I like that DC maybe hasn't felt the, the like, the pressure that, like, Marvel is kind of putting on, like, the standards, you know? Like, so... I mean, uh, if, if anything, it's the opposite word. They've had more pressure to be like Marvel. Marvel I, like, no, I, I know, but they're not, like, responding to it in, like, a sellout Oh, okay, yeah, they're, they're not trying to do the yeah. same thing. They're not building, like, Marvel, like, has this roster for 2018 already. Like, we couldn't even think of a DC <laughs> movie that was, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully they'll take their time. They have a good game plan. and I mean, their TV stuff is still top popping. notch. Yeah. So it's probably the best TV out there. Mm-hmm. In terms of superhero stuff, so right. so let's see what that happens. Black Lightning, hopefully that's a success, and they'll continue, yeah. mm-hmm. and they'll cross over too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, that's it for best of two thousand seventeen. Yes. Um, follow us on Twitter and uh, yeah. Yeah, YouTube obviously, yeah. and Facebook and Instagram, and read our stuff on Player One. And yep. thank you for listening to us for twenty episodes. And here's to. 2018 and 20 more and 120 more. I don't know how many episodes. <laughs> uh, let us know what you guys think of our list about your personal lists mm-hmm. um, in the comments section, and we might shout you out in a future episode. Yeah, so, sounds good. Let you guys get out of here. Later. Later.